Good morning, everybody. My name is Sylvia, and I'm going to be your host for today's live. So just before we get started, we do have a few quick announcements. So we've just gotten like an email that virtually all our shows this year will be closed. So we won't be going into going to any more shows this year, unfortunately. And the second thing is, if you want to come into the showroom, we are partially open. Um, if you do want to come into the showroom to kind of look at the findings and buy things here, you have to make an appointment and also just make sure to wear a mask. Masks are mandatory if you want to come in. And we also have like hand sanitizer for you to sanitize your hands before you come in. But if you do want to come in, just make sure to kind of call in and make an appointment. So those are just our two biggest announcements for today. So today we are going to be talking about connectors, but we do have a bunch of other products such as beading findings, settings, bales, jump rings, conne connectors, which is what we're talking about today, wires, just all that stuff that you can also find on our website. So if you haven't watched any of our lives before, my name is Sylvia. I'm not usually the host of uh, the show of the live showroom, but I'm filling in for today and also Why we're doing the live showroom? It's mainly because because the shows are all canceled because of the virus Unfortunately, we're just here kind of interacting with our customers and also you do get some benefits of Watching the show just because you know when you're on a website and you want to look at a finding in more detail, you kind of want to zoom in, zoom out, really see it in the full 360 degree scope. You can't really do that with if there are only a set number of pictures online. So what we do is you can request any finding, even though we're talking about connectors today, if you do have something else that you would like to see during the show, just please feel free to kind of just ask and we'd be more than happy to show you. Also, if you order during the show, you do get free shipping and you also get a 10% discount if you are part of any jewelry clubs or groups either in like physical groups or ones online so that could be Facebook or any other social media um so we do also have a DIY jewelry um service I'm a little bit rusty at this if you can't tell we do have a DIY jewelry service which is basically where you get to make any, you get to custom make some designs. So those can be anything from necklaces, pendants, rings. If you want it made, it can be made. If you have any questions about it, you can either go on our website or you can talk to Marble, who is our kind of DIY jewelry expert. But we do offer a bunch of designs, a bunch of different metals, such as primarily silver which is kind of what we specialize in but also gold and rose gold there's also rhodium plated i believe so those are just kind of our main things but again if you want a design that's uniquely yours diy jewelry is a very good kind of platform and service to use um i don't think there's anything else if there's anything else and i remember i'll add it in but for now we'll just jump right into the connectors so connectors are so these are the connectors these are probably the more basic oh these are probably a more basic standard ones so ooh, please focus okay while it's trying to focus so for those of you who don't know a connector is basically something you use to kind of extend your jewelry um so what would happen is so this is one so most of the time a connector is just sold like this but for this one it comes with kind of like a chain and a clasp so what could happen with a connector like this is that you could string if you're doing beading you could do a bunch of beads down here or if you're doing wire wrapping you could also kind of link it through these links and you can just kind of make a bracelet that way. It's kind of like a flat, a pretty thick bracelet, which would look really cool. So, ooh. 
so connectors, there are a bunch of different styles, which I will show you in a second. So this is one of probably a more basic version. It's also, it's very versatile, so you can use it in a bunch of different um, designs. So, so here, oh, okay, so here is what I was talking about before, where you have a connector without the chain and the clasp, and so this is a larger jump ring. So this you can use to kind of um, clasp on another end of a bracelet, necklace, whatever you want, or you could also you could also um, just extend it with more chains to make it longer. But again, it's the same idea where you can add some beads to it and just kind of extend it that way. Another way you could use this connector is you could put it on within an earring. So what you could do is you can hook, put an earring hook up here and then kind of bead or wire wrap your way down, which would be really cool. It's a really nice dangly statement and it would look really unique and nice. So moving on. Here is... So this one is, I'm not sure if it's called, it would be called a connector, but it has the same idea where, if it'll focus for me, please focus. Okay, so I don't know if you guys, ooh, I don't know if you guys can see it that clearly, but there's a wiry kind of ropey, kind of like a twisted rope design here, which is really cool. It's very delicate. It's a lot shinier than the ones the other two connectors that I just showed you. And even though it doesn't look the same, it has the same idea where you can kind of connect two, two wires over here and have like a bracelet this way. Another thing you can do, so yeah, this is just the main thing where you basically just extend the piece. There are a lot of ways that you could use this which would be super innovative and creative. I can't really think right now because I'm half brain dead right now. But basically, the whole idea of connectors is just to connect your designs and just kind of extend them. And you can also attach more connectors this way or like that way, kind of just to bulk up your designs. It would be a really cool thing to see and to wear. So this is one of our more delicate, I would, say, I would call them extenders because it doesn't really look like the connectors that I showed you. So, we also have these, which aren't, these aren't really connectors, they're more like S-clasps, which is basically you would just, if I can do it, <laughs> okay, I can't do it. So basically, what will happen is that you, well first you could hook it through if you wanted to, or you could also, again like the last one, you could extend your jewelry, it's a really nice kind of statement piece. It's fancy, but not too flashy or showy. It's quite elegant, really. There's this really cool kind of diamond that in the middle. The lighting doesn't show it off really well, but we do have kind of like a snake, a snake skin design in the middle, which is like, oh, ooh, like a snake design, which is really cool. You could also, again, you can just put like thin chains around the so kind of connect a thin chain. It's, it would be like a necklace or a bracelet. It would be really cool, especially for kind of younger kids, or if you just want a simple and elegant design. It would be a nice centerpiece without it kind of throwing the entire piece off balance. I know like a lot of little kids who like, like to wear jewelry, this would be a nice piece by not kind of weighing them down, but it's still quite elegant and pretty. So we do have a lot of those designs and those S-shaped um, thing, S-shaped connectors. So one thing you could do, you could either string the string in the middle here, or you could also string it through the big loops. And so this one is another design that's really nice. It's kind of like a twisty, 
Let me see if I can focus like further in. It's like a twisty. Okay, I won't focus, so I'll have to show you from afar, unfortunately. So it's kind. So there are kind of some little like rope bearings in the middle. It almost looks like. Oh, you can kind of tell that here is like a twisty kind of tree trunk almost or a branch that's kind of wrapping around and kind of finishing with like a very small and elegant tip. So this would be a nice one to use kind of in a nature, a nature designed piece, kind of maybe with leaves or birds or like a sun or moon or anything like that. It would be a very kind of delicate piece to wear. And I feel like it would be, again, with the other, with the other one that I showed you, you can also kind of put it like this and then wear it on a bracelet or even a necklace and you could kind of do an elegant thinner chain to kind of make it a bracelet either for one that's for everyday wear it would be a really nice gift or again it would be something that uh, little kids can wear that would that would be nice and make them feel like they're kind of amping up their outfit without weighing them down with school and running around and all that sort of stuff So here is a new look, one that looks quite new. So again, it is also a connector where you can kind of extend it through these two jump rings. One thing you could do is you could start a piece with this and then kind of bead or wire wrap your way around and finish by um, putting the clasp and having it clasp onto this jump ring. You could also, again, make this a centerpiece. It could also be a really nice earring where, in fact, this kind of looks like a deformed earring hook, where you could kind of put an earring hook up here and then, again, wire wrap your way down. This little hook... Oh, can I come off? Oh, it came off. Okay, so I don't know if this is supposed to be part of it. We'll just leave it on here. But, again, if... Even if it's not supposed to be a part of it. Oh. I thought it's, it's a it's a M, it's a ring, it's a jump ring oh. to connect. Oh, okay. So the jump ring is supposed to be a part of it. But even if it's not, you could also, you know, uh, kind of weave or wire wrap your way down. I know some jewel some jewelry creators they use kind of string. My friend uses string to kind of make her own bracelets. You could also so if you use string or thread, you could thread your way down in kind of a feathery, a feathery looking piece. But either way, this is what it looks like. Just two jump rings and something that looks a little on the lines of a deformed earring hook. So that's what it looks like. Alright, moving on. Here is a slightly more robust piece. So for the people who really like having hearts in their jewelry, I know that hearts are a very popular charm. So this one is kind of like a Cupid's arrow mashed up a little bit. So we have two hearts here and then the same elegant curvy design that you could just um, you can, again, connect and extend these two sides with. It would be, honestly, I feel like even by itself, it would be a really nice pendant piece where you could just string a chain through it to make it a very easy but elegant necklace just by kind of dangling it like this. It's a really nice infinity sign for those of you who want to give this to a loved one. It does resemble kind of an infinity with the hearts there, so I think it would be a really nice and meaningful gift to give to someone you love. Personally, I think this might be one of my favorites, even though I don't like having a lot of hearts in my jewelry. But when you think about it, all of the ones I've shown you can be kind of interpreted as an infinity sign, so it would be rather fun. So this one kind of if I were to use my imagination, it looks a little bit like the head of a snake and the body of it. And this little part over here kind of resembles snake skin as well. 
Again, you can use it to connect this way. You can use it as even an earring. Again, all of these, the possibilities are really endless. You can do whatever you would like with them. They can be the center of your piece or they can just be used to enhance it. But this is another one that I find quite interesting. All right, what to do next? Let's do a simpler one. Simpler? Simpler. Simpler. So this one is your tried and true infinity sign, which can also be interpreted as an eight. It's, again, you can connect, extend it with, with it, nothing quite new. This is for those who maybe have a more complicated design and don't want it to be overshadowed by a, the connector which would be it's just nice thin elegant silver it does its job well it's pretty quite pretty to look at but it won't take away from any of your pieces you could also wear it again if you want a lighter more delicate piece of jewelry or maybe if it, even if it's for kids i don't know if like someone their favorite number is eight or something you can just turn this into a necklace pendant which would be nice or maybe again the infinity sign or the way it can be interpreted as an infinity sign really also opens up a lot of possibilities so this is probably one of our simplest designs it's quite elegant this wire no, not the wire the silver is quite thin so it's quite delicate i don't know if i already said that like a million times but yeah Okay, so because our last one was so um, simple, we're going to go with a fancier one. So this one has a very cool, it reminds me of uh, when I was little, we make these clay snakes where you roll into a log and you roll it out using your hands and you kind of taper the ends. This is kind of what it looks like. It's very cool, it's quite thick in the middle, and it ends off being considerably thin it's not as thin as the one I showed you before but it is still quite nice it's mainly polished bright shiny silver but in the middle as you can see there are some designs I think it's more of those you can't really see but it's like a squiggly design like this which is really cool the darkness adds some contrast to the silver and again this can be used to accent and enhance a more complicated piece or you could also use it to be the center of attention in a simpler piece, which is very nice. Again, the beauty about connectors is that you can really do anything you would like with them. And you could also, and you, there are just endless possibilities for you. All right, so I'll show you the last one from this set again we do have everything on our website so if there's anything that you want to check out or we probably won't be able to talk about all the connectors today so if you're interested in seeing what other designs we have please do feel free to check our website um but this is another super super cool design it's kind of reminds it kind of looks like it's being twisted like again like the tree trunk but not all the way the kind of darker silver bits really accents it really nicely. Oh, if only if it, oh, there we go. So as you can see, it does have darker silver, and then it comes out into bright silver. It's again the tapering and kind of the snake, and you also have this little thicker piece in the center, which kind of acts a, as a break in between, so it's not that continuous. It's a very cool design, really, probably one of my favorites, as well as the heart one. Again, like all the connectors, you use it to extend your piece. You could also, I don't know, you can use it to, as like a an earring. You could kind of hook an earring hook onto one of these ends, like this, and then you can maybe either leave it plain, or you could just have it come down this way, like that. And it's quite very unique, very fun. I feel like I could look at it for forever just because of the designs, the darker designs down there. And it just makes it very cool and unique. And probably, I've never seen it before. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to another box. Again, if you're interested in seeing all the designs we have, we do have it on our website, and you can browse around the website until your heart's content. To your heart's content. So this is, unlike the other ones, this is a shorter connector, but it kind of resembles a charm. It reminds me of a bumblebee, even though besides the body and supposedly the wings on the sides, it doesn't look like a bee at all. So as you can see, there are, it's a kind of like a flower pattern in the middle and kind of darker silver on the sides. And again, here you can use it to, um, to extend your piece. You could also kind of join it up with other connectors to make it more bulky, to give your piece a bit more dimension, I guess. Again, you could also put this on earrings. One thing that would be really cool is if you kind of took pins or maybe even just chains or string even, string it through here and then kind of bring it up and tie it together so with a jump ring. It'd make it almost a triangle pattern. And then you can just add more designs that hang down that way. I think that would be really cool for earrings. And again, it's just another very delicate piece that has a lot of potential that could be used in a bunch of different outfits and a bunch of different forms. I don't know why I keep talking about outfits, it's not like I'm that good at fashion, but you know. Just a thought. So, moving on... I seem to have a slight obsession with twisty things. So here's another one. This is a heart. Another, a very unique heart design, really. It has this, oh, well, if you can focus, I can show you, but it doesn't want to focus. So we're going to have to show you from afar, unfortunately. So as you can see here, it has kind of a pole in the middle, and these, it's hard to see, but again, it's a twisty ropey design you can kind of tell if you squint really hard at it and again it loops in to make a really interesting heart design for this for this piece again the usual connector way you can use it it would be a really cool bracelet just because of the extra little bit at the bottom of the heart oh and i dropped it and yeah it's just another quite a unique take on a heart if you really like using heart designs or if you're looking for a heart design that it's not just your generic silver solid heart this would be a really cool one it can also be used to kind of extend your piece and make it more again more robust i've said those words too many times but one th another thing you could do is you can loop maybe like string or beading or wiring through these two bottom holes as well as these two top holes and you can like kind of expand it out. It doesn't even have to be jewelry, you can use it to make room decorations. I feel like if I were to use this I would make a really cool kind of tapestry almost with string or silver, probably not silver because that would be really expensive, probably like string or thread and this would kind of be in the center which I think would be super super cool. Alright, so moving on, in correspondence to what seemed to be a bumblebee before, this is a butterfly. It has the same, a similar design to the heart that I showed you where it has the hole in the center. Oh, I didn't know this. Wait, give me a second. Can you string through the hole? I'm trying, okay, we're trying to figure out if you can string it through the hole. Because I'm not yes. Sure. Oh, yes? Okay. So. Uh, breaking discovery by me. So, pro most of you probably already knew this, but you can s put a string or a wire through the hole and have it come out both sides, kind of like a dual antenna. Again, the wings also provide count countless possibilities with how kind of how they're designed. You can put any string through here, so really you can just stick a string or a wire or beading through any basically anywhere on this butterfly, which gives you a lot of opportunity to make really unique pieces that maybe people haven't seen before, and allows you to, a lot of creative freedom with this one. 
Okay. I was trying to look for one that's not very naturey, but my eye caught on this one and it's naturey, so I apologize. This one is a four leaf clover. Man. So, again, this one, very generic. It's quite a flat silver, it's almost like a disc. And again, you can just kind of stick string through it, beading, wiring, be a really cool. Again, any of these would make a really nice, simple, light necklace or bracelet, either for one for everyday wear or even for little ones. I have a little niece. If she's older, like five or six years old, I would totally just put this through a simple um, and kind of lighter, thinner necklace and just give it to her. It would be a really nice gift that she can kind of wear without worrying about it dragging her down while she's at school and running and playing and jumping and all that. Okay. So, uh, what shall we do next? Oh, this one's cool. So this one is another one that allows for a lot of creative freedom because of the many, many places you can put the you can string it through it reminds me a little bit of a medallion almost i don't know if that's the word i'm specifically looking for but i'm gonna go with it so it has this flowery design and kind of sp spreads out i remember when i was younger that makes me sound really old i'm not that old um so when i was still in elementary school my friends and i would take corners of notebooks and we would draw a similar design like this kind of spreading out from the notebook so it's very cool it's I wouldn't say it's unique, but it's certainly very special. Also, if you like the medallion design, you can also use our DIY jewelry service, and you can kind of create your own, which would definitely be special and one of a kind. I feel like a, medall a medallion design like this could hold a lot of meaning. It could be a very meaningful gift for somebody. So again, you can use it even as earrings. Like You can kind of string it through, and you can, with so many... With so many holes you could either just leave it like this and let the design shine or you could kind of just have it droop down with beading or wiring and again this you can make it it's almost like you can make a trinket out of this where you can bead around it and it would be almost like it would seem like a box with a medallion at the top i know like some kids if they i don't know at this point it's not even jewelry anymore it's just beading and weaving in general but you know, if a kid has wants like a little, I don't know, like a table for their dolls or something, you could beat around it and you can hold it up and this would be like the top of the table. Just a thought. It's supposed to be about jewelry and now I'm talking about dolls and doll houses. Okay, uh, what shall we choose next? Wait, this one looks cool. By the way, I'm just choosing ones that I look cool. These are not... That I think look cool. These are not in any particular order. So this resembles almost a crescent moon or a smile. That kind of reminds me of the Cheshire Cat. So this one's. I don't think. I don't think choosing this one was a good choice. It's rather small and hard to see. So again, it's just a sheet of silver in kind of the shape of a crescent moon. There are two little holes at the top where you can string the strings through. Again, this is another very not generic, but very simple pattern. Quite easy to use. And again, something that you can put in jewelry where you want kind of the other pieces to shine. And this is just to extend it or to help you move the design along. So. Okay, we're moving on. What else can we show for this tray? So, this one is a boxy design, obviously. So what you can do is, as you can see, one of the three sides here is not like sealed, covered. So this is where you can kind of, so again, we have holes down here we can string through wire or thread or yarn yarn is a bit too um a bit too thick for this one but 
basically, one thing you can do, again, you can make this in a bracelet, which would be really cool, kind of a beaded bracelet with multiple layers kind of going out this way, and then you can end it either with another connector, so you can do it like... Oh, you can do it like this, if I can get the angle right. Or you can, even without it, you can just attach a clasp on the other end and just clasp it on. It would be really cool if you have, how many holes does this one have? One, two, three, four, five, six. If you have six layers and then it slowly whittles down to four and it whittles down to two and then it whittles down to one. So it's like, it goes from thicker to thinner and it would be a super, super cool design. I would totally buy it. And yeah, it's just... Again, a design that offers a lot of opportunities, like so, like so many of the other designs before. You can add a, an earring hook and then kind of just have it dangle down like that. You can, I don't know, if you're able to find a stone this size, you can again have the designs going down. You can have a stone set in there that would also be really, really cool to kind of wear and look at. It would be a nice piece to dress up maybe like a t-shirt and jeans look, or it could also complement a more elegant outfit for more formal occasions. So this is the the boxy one. I don't know the technical names for them, so I'm just calling them boxy ones or butterfly ones. Alright, so I think I think we'll move on to another oh, actually Ooh, okay, so this one is definitely one for earrings. It doesn't have to be for earrings. Again, you can also do the design, like I said before, where you have these many and kind of whittle it down from... So you can... Let's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine different um, kind of holes where you can start off. You can do nine layers of different colored beads, and then you can kind of tie it together and whittle it down from 9 to 6 to 3 to 1 and then you can tie it here with um, a bead like if you can kind of tell what I mean so that would be a super super cool bracelet or yeah I feel like it would look best with a bracelet but you can also do it for necklaces another thing you do is you can do layers because as you can see we have three different um, holes here for them so you can do like a layer of six, and then on top you could do a layer of three, which would be really cool to look at. You can weave it together. There are so many possibilities. Probably the most obvious possibility is that you can use this for earrings. So attach an earring hook and then just have the beading, the wiring, the weaving droop down. You do it kind of like in a triangle pattern or a diamond pattern, which is kind of how this one is situated. But it's really nice and really cool. And again... Maybe I'm biased, but I just like, I just really like my idea of having um, nine layers and then six and then three and then all the way down to one when you end back here. I think that would be a really nice piece. Okay. I'm going to get a drink of water first because my throat is dying on me. Ugh. Okay. So, next. Uh, this is another one of our simpler pieces. It is again kind of reminds me of a of gog like not goggles binoculars, or you know an eye of an owl, two eyes of an owl, and like a beak. My imagination is really running rampant here. So again, very simple design, plain silver. You can use it to connect like always. So again, unlike the more fancy designs. These ones are plain and they really just do the basic job of connecting but again because they're plain and so simple they really do offer a variety of uses that sometimes the fancy ones don't offer. And they're also cheaper. That's a plus. So this is again can't like someone tell me that they don't see like two eyes and like the beak of an owl right here. Alright, so, ooh, I just moved the screen. I'm sorry if you guys, like, experienced, like, a minor earthquake with that. Alright, so, here is another one. This reminds me of a bamboo shoot. 
because of the bamboo and these can be the leaves. It's just a regular connector. I don't... Oh, okay, well, I don't know if you guys can see because the lighting is the lighting. But there are some rivets in this thing, which really makes it look like wood, tree trunk, or again, a bamboo shoot. Like all the other ones before, you can this is you can use this for a bracelet, kind of a three-layer bracelet with beading or wire wrapping. Um, again, you can whittle it down from three to two to one and just end it with here. Or you can just take another connector and just connect it with... So, kind of a bracelet would go both ways, and then here would be the clasp and a jump ring, and you can just kind of fix it together. Again, you can also use this for earrings. This is, you can put it this way, it'll dangle down. Very fun, very elegant. Again, this is another rather simple and elegant piece, but kind of, if you look at the design, there are really a lot of possibilities that you can do with it. All right, here is number, I don't even know. So this one, at first glance, like the one before, is a rather simple piece. It only has two edges here, which a really cool idea would be if you started with two and then you connected them into, like, if, you, if it starts like this, and then you have a B connecting them, and then you do this again, and it's just like a bunch of places, not not places, a bunch of kind of places where they connect and then they spread out again and connect if y'all know what I mean. Again, you can also use this for earrings as always. If you look closely, it does have a design on it. It seems, can't quite tell what the design is just because it's kind of far away and it's not focusing up at a close distance, unfortunately. But again, pieces like these, the simpler ones, they do offer so much variety and so much possibility. It doesn't have to be fancy for it to make your piece really stand out. And little details like that are sometimes the best things about pieces. You, someone could buy a bracelet, with, a bracelet, a bracelet, and kind of, I really admire the beadwork. And then maybe one day when they're wearing, they'll be like, oh. Maybe one day when they're wearing it, they'll be like, oh, I never noticed how this part had a bunch of really does nice designs and I feel like that's one of the best parts of wearing jewelry with a bunch of things. Alright, keeping them coming. So we got some flower designs up for you next. This is again a flower design. It has a very bumblebee-esque center. I don't remember what this is called anymore, the middle. I know these are called petals. I don't remember what the middle is called anymore, but it's very it's very high if you can if you can tell. Oh, that that did not work. So this is kind of the design, and this is the top of it. So it's very high. It has this swirling pattern on. Wow, my fingers are just not working today. It has this swirling pattern around it, which. Kind of as the design again you can connect it through any of these four you know the drill connect it connect it you can if you have it like spread out and then just pinch it together and have it just in one straight line it would be really really cool these would also make really nice earrings just simple earrings you can also kind of just glue an earring post on here and it would just be really cool and nice the thing about connectors is that they can be used in so many different ways which i find very fascinating Number two on the flower list here is a more, same time elegant, more delicate, but also more fancy version. So as you can see, it could almost resemble a windmill, windmill with, like, if you spin it. Um, there are these, I don't know if you can tell, but the petals are actually made of two wires seemingly glued together. It's a very unique design. It's very fun to look at. Um, there are some hole designs at the bottom, so you could s kind of connect it with these two bigger space, with these bigger spaces in the center, or you could use the smaller spaces if you have a wire that's thin enough. Again, could also be a very very cool earring with just a glue on earring post, but you could also add it into necklaces and as pieces to either 
enhance their jewelry or to show off by themselves. Okay, we're well, moving on to more. So this is for a maple leaf for all our Canadians out there. So here, it's not just your standard solid maple leaf design. There are, it reminds me of a design on my agenda from like grade six, which is really cool. But again, you have, it almost looks like fire at the bottom. So even though it's silver, it gives me, it reminds me of kind of a red maple leaf as if the leaf is made of flames almost, which is really, really, really cool. Again, I feel like the most, not logical, but the first thought that comes to mind when I come, when I see this is earrings, obviously, you can kind of dangle it down. You can also, again, put it in necklaces, have like a piece of the necklace this way, a piece of the necklace this way. A bracelet would also be really, really cool if you just do this. Again, pieces like this, like I've said before, they're really good for kids who do a lot of running and jumping, and I know... When I do PE and stuff, I definitely don't want to have something kind of really just hitting my throat really, really hard. Uh, next, here is another very fanciful heart one. I feel like it's a design to be worn by royalty or something just because it doesn't really pick up on camera but we do have more swirly designs on the heart wiring again with this many um holes you again there are a lot of possibilities you can just leave it like this and it looks a little bit like a heart octopus maybe it's just me but you know it's very cool uh, again, very light, simple, yet elegant design. I also love how perfect the heart is. Ugh, it's what I aspire all my drawn hearts to be. So here is another... It looks like a heart, but it's not quite a heart. Um, almost like these wavy patterns that can be interpreted in a bunch of different ways. Like this looks like a vine... This one looks like a vine. This one looks like like a breaking wave. This one looks almost like a flexing arm. It really just depends on the person, which is really nice because there are so many ways one could interpret it. Again, it seems like a heart, not quite a heart. It's just that beautiful in-between. could be, you know, doing its job as a connector on a bracelet or a necklace. Or it could also be a... Yeah. Yeah. It could also be an earring. Or, you know, just any other design. Like, one of them, I suggested you can use it to make a table for a dollhouse. So, really, just depends on you and depends on what you want to do. But you, you could really just get creative. Alrighty, next we have... This reminds me of the mirror from Snow White that the Evil Queen had. It looks like a mirror frame. It's another very fancy design. I feel like for something like this, you would use it to kind of make it the center of your piece. Or you can make it to accent your piece and make it even more fancy or have it be the fanciest part of a very simple bracelet or necklace or again, earrings would be really, really cool. Um, doing this way, it does look kind of like, look like a mirror from the Evil Queen. Or you could do it this way. And now it looks like... It looks like a person to me. Maybe it's just me, but it looks like a person. Like, this is the face, and that's, like, the, the hair, and that's like the crown. Like, a princess or a queen. Um, it's slightly unnerving. But, yeah, so he, now this looks like... Well, they both look like humans. Both ways, it looks like humans. So, well, there are a lot of ways you can design this, obviously, with so many places you can string things through. Their possibilities are endless with this one. But I'm gonna put it away because the human, the human resemblance is scaring me a little. Here is another one. Again, another very fanciful one. I personally prefer the simpler ones, but the fancy ones do have their own uses. Again, a lot of possibility with all the circles around it. I call them circles, call them holes. Same thing. You also have this little bit in the center. 
Honestly, I feel like you could just glue on a stone in the middle. It would be super, super cool. Um, we It does have quite intricate designs on the sides. Kind of stopping it. It's stopping it from being completely bright, shining silver, but it also isn't dark. It's kind of that really nice in-between. If you want something a little bit more matte, than just shiny. Personally, I prefer shiny, but again, this is for the people who like something matte, and they also, and it reminds me kind of like a coat of arms, which, like the shape of it, reminds me of a coat of arms, and there, again, there are a lot of ways you can use this design. Here's a look at the back, nothing too special, it's quite thin, quite light. Um, another design we have here, again, a heart design, it's, this one's quite elegant, quite beautiful, and, oh, oh, if only had a counter for the amount of times I've dropped these today, so, very intricate, swirly vine designs in the middle here, and then we have, um, Use, again the holes here and you can it's a lot of possibility over here yeah again very light like all the other like all the other connectors we have okay moving on it's almost like a tree I'm just gonna brush the designs now I'm just gonna talk about them not really their uses just because you know Really, the uses are just up to the people and up to the people who get them and buy them. Because there are, again, so many possibilities you can use. You can use them for their basic jewelry making uses, like necklaces, bracelets, chains, earrings. But again, really, you can just get creative and make the tapestries or even little accent pieces, which would be really cool. But again, very swirly design, um, almost like a heart in the middle. Yeah, it's very symmetrical, very nice. So, moving on. This one is similar to the one I just showed you. A little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Um, not as thin, not as not quite as delicate, but still very elegant. Same, almost heart-shaped designs. There's a diamond pattern in the middle. Be left like this, like this. Honestly, depending on the angle, it looks like you look at it, it looks like a new piece every single time which is really cool the more I stare at it the more it's kind of tripping me up with the designs but yeah I'm gonna get some more water because my throat is dying okay next oh this is a ribbony bow design it's very cool there it's kind of like there's lines etched into the silver, which gives it a whole other dimension. Again, you know the drill. You can use it to make, um, can use it to make, connect it. But it's very cool, very bow tie esque. And yeah, very nice. It's what we call 3D. So this is another four-leaf clover design, but unlike the other one I showed you, I actually I actually feel like I like this one a bit better because it has two solid and two hollow ones. I don't know if you call these hollow, but you know, hollow. You can either string them for the two holes or you can string them from these two. Either way, it's up to you. It's a very, very cool, especially if you look at it this way. This way, it looks a bit too symmetrical. If you look at this way, I think it's quite cool. All right. Ooh. If, again, if you would like to look at any of these more, any of these designs more in detail or for longer, feel free to ask, or you could go on our site. This reminds me of a paint blob or a gingerbread man. And again, because it's so hollow, really a lot of possibility. And because of it's hollow, it's very light. But again, plain silver, quite simple, and yet. It can be used in so many different ways. Onward to the next one. Here is a fancier one. It reminds me a little bit of the Celtic knot, which is 
really cool. I don't know if these are actual, I don't think this is an actual design of a Celtic knot, but it reminds me of one. And, yeah, again, a lot of possibilities. It's very, uh, I want to say naughty, but, like, all my English is leaving me. It's quite simple, yet quite complicated at the same time. The more you look at it, it reminds me of an affinity sign where it kind of, it feels like it never stops and never ends. And the more you look at it, I feel like the more fascinating it gets, which is really cool and really part, one of the best parts of designing jewelry is to make it seem more interesting than the last time you looked at it. We have, ooh, I'm pretty sure these are called spades. I'm not very good at cards, but I'm pretty sure these are spades. So you have a spade design in the middle, which is very, very cool. Again, it's quite simple, but an, a unique piece that's simple and elegant and quite unassuming. But again, if spades have a special meaning to someone, or if you just really like this design, it would be a really cool gift or really cool jewelry piece for yourself. All right, we're really just whizzing right past these. All right, here's another one. Um, this one is another four leaf clover design. It's like a heart design. I'm so sorry that it's so far away. It just refuses to focus if it's close, so I apologize. Um, but this, again, four leaf clover design, quite a lot of possibilities because it's hollow, it's very light. So yeah, very fun. Okay, next. Next, we have another of the, the twisty designs are back. This also, again, reminds me of a Celtic knot, just because it's one of those designs where it seems like it's made from, like, one string, and then people just knotted it very differently. There's two, there's a lot of dimensions to this piece, which is really, really cool. You can take it in so many different ways. Again, it's one of those pieces that is simple enough to not detract from a fancier piece, but it it's kind of elegant and has enough detail in itself to kind of stand out on its own. But yeah. All right. Next, we have another kind of twisty design. It's it's the return of oh, It's the return of kind of the more S-shaped, infinity-shaped designs. This could also kind of remind you of a bow from both sides. Can't tell because it's so far away, but there are little twisty designs here. It's not just solid, smooth silver. But it's very fun. And yeah. Again, you can check out any of these pieces on our website, www.sylviafindings.com. And if you have any questions about our pieces, just shoot us an email and we would will reply as quickly as possible. All right. Next, we have... All right, these are... These resemble pins more than the ones that I was just showing you. They, so, quite plain, simple, unassuming, just a straight silver bar, thin silver bar, and two holes at the side for you to connect and extend your pieces to your heart's content. What's, something really cool is that if you take, oh, if you take one of our connectors from before, like, something like this, you could actually make, have, um, pieces draped down, and then you can end it, and then have like four of these lined up and kind of it's like beading and then a break with silver and then more beading i feel like that would look really really cool very unique i don't know if it's been done before because i've never seen it but i think it would be a really nice piece but yeah plain silver bar with holes so this again very similar to what I called looking like binoculars. My fingers would show them. Um, again, these are quite simple, quite unassuming. They're just silver with, yeah, just silver holes with like a small bar in between. But again, the idea with uh, a bunch of different, um, different 
rows or columns of beads and then have a break of silver and then columns and rows, I think would be a really cool boxy necklace or or a bracelet. I feel like it would be better for a bracelet if it's like this. But yeah, very cool. And one of our lights just died on us. So, this is similar. Oh, very cool. This is, just, I was going to say it's similar to our half moon or crescent moon half smile, Cheshire cat smile thing. But actually, upon further investigation, there's actually a butterfly on here. So, I'm guessing it would, this longer piece could resemble a vine or a twig or a branch. And you have your butterfly on there, which is very nice, very cool, very quite a unique design, and because of the butterfly, it adds kind of a whole other dimension to the piece. Alright, onwards, we will finish talking about these. So we have simple circles. So these, unlike any of the pieces you have seen previously, if it'll focus for me, please focus. Um, okay, well, it won't focus, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has, like, rivets of design. It's not smooth silver. It looks like oh, some people have hammered it. It has, it's quite rustic. It has some nice, um, uh, some nice texture to it. That's the word I was looking for. So, some really nice texture. It seems unassuming, but again, because it's a circle and doesn't have, like, a set a number of holes, you can really use it for almost anything, really. So, very fun, very nice. Next, we have another circle, but this one is fancier. It is bulkier. It's also not a circle, it's an oval, but I digress. Um, so, again, it has the twisty trunk design, which seems to be a favorite of ours to design but again because it's so simple it can be used to accent a fancier piece and because it's so detailed it could really just hold up on its own too so another very cool very nice design right. next this is probably one of our biggest connector designs it's like this. I could see this, again, going very well on its own, but it would also work spectacularly with fancier pieces. You can add it in so you can, um, again, connect it, extend it from the two holes. And it has a really cool, wavy, windy, almost gust design over here. Next, this is, again, one of our more robust, rather robust designs. It really is just this. I can't really talk much about it. It's quite thick, quite sturdy. Um, and, yeah, it's just plain, solid silver. Do whatever you would like with it. Yeah, there's not really much to be said about this one. Next, we have another what seems to be a butterfly ish. Oh, and I just spilled it all over the table. So, this is a butterfly design. It's very cool because of kind of, it looks like it wants to be symmetrical, but it can't really decide. I think that makes it quite unique. I really like how one side is thicker and then one side is so thin. And yes, it looks symmetrical, but it's not quite. And I guess the indecision there makes it really cool to look at. But yes. Next we have... It reminds me of almost of a Mickey Mouse design, you know, with the head and the... Oop. With the head and the ears over here. Solid silver, quite thin, quite plain. Very nice, simple design overall. Would be great for kids who are obsessed with Disney. 
You can also think of it as bubbles, or, you know, but I just can't unsee the Mickey Mouse design, so we're going to go with that one. Okay. Next we have a squiggly, almost like a squiggly tree design. Um, this one, it reminds me of a, they called stick bugs. I think they're called stick bugs. Um, last year, one of the science cl classes, not my science class, but one of my friends' science class had stick bugs, and this is kind of what it re reminds me of. Um, little holes, not little holes here for your designs, and also little dots. Because it's both ways, it would be, again, a very nice accent. I've dropped this too many times. A very nice accent piece for necklaces and bracelets. Also, if you do earrings, you can have it hanging down from each side, which is really cool. If you can't tell, my voice is dying on me. I'm sorry if I'm getting quieter as each minute goes on. Okay, this is a flower design, so it's very nice. You do have the this part in the back, but in the front you see a sunflower. Well, to me it looks like a sunflower. Very cool leaves, petals, the whole shebang. Yeah. Again, oh wait, no you can't. Wait, let me check. Oh, so there are holes in the leaves, so you can also, you know, make use of those, but you can also go with the two holes at the ends. Yeah. So this is a star-shaped design. Very nice, very cool, very symmetrical. Not much to be said about it. Quite thick, nice, sturdy silver. And yeah, because of the holes on all six sides, as well as the one in this pentagon? No, not pentagon. Hexagon. I think it's called a hexagon. My math skills are really just slipping from me. Hexagon in the center. My god. Hexagon in the center. Really, a lot of possibility. Detailed enough to stand on its own, but simple enough to help bring life to more complicated pieces. So, quite nice. So, we moving on to the discs. So, four-leaf clover designs, simple, elegant, and yet it's different because it's a cutout of a four-leaf clover. And again, very thin silver, so it's quite light. It's almost like a disc. Again, you know, you can use it for necklaces and, like, other pieces of jewelry. Or, like I said before, you can use it to make, like, a beaded table for dolls or something. Or expand it and make it kind of... A room decoration which I think would be really cool it would be a really nice coin it's not a coin okay at this point at this point I'm just rambling Ooh. next we got more discs this one has a star and what's so cool about this one is that it's almost as if the star was carved from I mean it was but you know there's it's the star, it's hard to tell here, but the star is, is kind of um, elevated from the rest of the disc. A lot of holes here, so it kind of reminds me of a sea, no, not a sea star, a sand dollar, if you guys know what that is. A sand dollar and a sea star in the middle, which is really cool. Very oceany. Again, these are all my interpretations of the stuff, but... Really, there are a million ways you can do it. Here's another medallion-looking one. Here's another medallion-looking one. Um, a lot again, a lot of possibilities just because it has so many holes in it. It's again one another one of those where it's simple enough to accent a bigger piece, or and it's detailed enough to hold up on its own. So yeah. Okay, y'all can see it better that way. Great. We have more. More, 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 more. Oh. Okay. So this is 
a more unique piece with a circle and it has the jump rings. The nice thing about this is because the jump rings can move, you can really just position it whenever, wherever you want. You can have it like this, you can have all three like this, you can uh, have two together and like, like this. It really, just possibilities are endless, you do whatever you want with it. But, you know, necklaces, jewelry, earrings would be really nice. I think personally use. Yeah. Also, I don't know, but you can also like do like have it here and then have almost like a piece up here that goes like around around your finger and then these two jump rings have threads going around your wrist. It would just be a really nice hand accessory. Like not just a wrist or a wrist, not just a bracelet or a ring, but like an entire thing for your entire hand. No one gets left out. Uh, this is another one similar to the star design that I showed you earlier, but it has like wire wrapping around. It really is just tradition for me now to drop at least one item. Um, so again, similar, quite simple, solid silver design. Yeah, nothing quite really to it, but quite elegant and nice. I need more water. Mm. Okay. We like being hydrated here. Yeah, here's another one. Another simpler flower design. Solid silver. Nothing really special about it, I guess. You have the two pieces over here. Quite very nice. Um, Yeah. But, again, quite simple design that can be used with a lot of designs because that's the beauty of its simplicity. Here is probably our sixth or seventh flower design of the day. Like the last one, it's kind of like a cutout of a flower, but yeah, but it's, and I was really hoping I wouldn't drop this one. And instead of the holes being outside of the design, it's actually inside the design, which is nice because it keeps everything quite contained. But yeah, nothing really to it, it's just a thin sheet of sterling silver with a flower design stamped in and around it. Moving on, we have what I feel like is like our 15th heart design of the day. Another heart design. Kind of reminds me of like two antenna on top of the heart, but again, another cutout of it. Very nice. A silhouette. I don't know, this is not a silhouette, but you know what I mean. Maybe. But yeah, again, thin sheet of silver. Nothing too special about it, but its lack of uniqueness, speciality. I don't know if that's a word, but its lack of things that stand out really helps it help other things stand out which is what some people want okay next um we have this one i just have to say this but like if anyone watches avatar the last airbender doesn't this just look like one of those primordial god things that they show but yeah, I don't know. This audience probably doesn't watch that sort of stuff. But it's very cool, very swirly designs. Triangle, triangular almost, but with like a slight curve. Put it upside down, oh. or ring for earring. Oh yeah, you can also do that. My brain is short-circuiting on me. You can, again, earrings. Yeah. So here is another crescent moon design that offers a lot of um, a lot of possibility and opportunity to make it something really cool. Again, you can make it into a bracelet like this and turn it into, into earrings, or like you can have um, like a triangular design and then the hook, and then have things hanging down. It would be a really nice necklace piece. Oh my God, 
a really nice necklace piece, and a very interesting moon design. It's not just a solid moon, there are more designs in the middle. It kind of reminds you of the craters in our real moon. So I would say it's one of our more, um, our more realistic designs, I suppose. But yeah. Next, we have another heart. Another, I'm not sure if I actually, I feel like I already showed you this, this one, but I'm not sure. So it has these, like, kind of circular, um, like it's a it's a flower design at the bottom it's kind of hard to see but it is a flower design and it's a heart you have two swirly designs i like how it's so symmetric on the outside but in the inside just this little bit here it kind of throws everything off balance but not so much that it's distracting it actually just makes it more fascinating to look at again bracelets um earrings necklaces whatever you want to do with it it can probably be done Next, we have, oh, okay, so this is our last finding of the day. Again, we didn't show all of them. If you would like to see all of them, feel free to go onto our website, www.sylviafindings.com. But, again, almost like a lotus design. We have these little s smaller designs. I can't think of another word. These smaller designs in the mid, um, in each petal and you have a bit on the base three holes again you can turn this into earrings that makes it look almost like a lamp and no longer like a lotus um i can't really see this being a necklace but being a it would be really cool being a bracelet with again the three layers and then you whittle it down to two and then one and then you connect it here that would be really really cool again thin silver quite light good for simple designs or adding to fancy designs, or just giving them to kids to wear, because the last thing you want is like a five pound pendant hanging across, hanging around their neck. But yeah, so this it will, so that was our last connector of the day. Um, again, if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot us an email, feel free to go to our site, www.sillyfriendings.com, um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. Next week, we'll be talking about 18K gold findings. And without, not without further ado, but so that's basically it. I hope you guys like the show. I know I'm a little bit rusty, but hopefully it was okay. And we'll see you guys next week.